pulling and pushing. Not a very confident side yesterday. Although it was 31 21 to New Zealand, it was New Zealand who were well beaten in that final game in the pool. And then big wins over Canada and USA. Ball in touch. Frederick Pamarel looking very <laughs> laid back, <laughs> as his predecessor was, I suppose, Thierry Janacek. But he'll be pleased. They've at least uh, got into the cup uh, cup rounds. They didn't last four tournaments last season. Someone's got a cut. So replacement is uh, Jean-Baptiste Mazoué. Youngster who had uh, early days playing 15s with the Breve club. Stay six. To Eric Burahua, to Alba Ladejo. Now for Barry in the middle. Being contained in their own 22 so far. Exciting young scrum half, Burahua. Tends to be a bit uh, selfish sometimes. Vincent Denual, the captain of France setting it up there behind the his own goal line from Alba Dejo just it's the ball out of pressure a little play into South Africa's hands now they should get the ball back from this line out 40 out from the opposition and now now get their first opportunity probably to constructively Wait, use the ball They're a little bit sloppy with their set piece the tap move before the prayer up throwing a poor pass or went to ground ended up getting bundled into touch then he comes back on just a little bit of uh, plaster on his, his cut Carl Brown back to Branca Dupria he's nailed Pulls up. ball somewhere Mall. referee calling the mall there which will say so more created taken in by France oh. Well, France had the ball. They won it off yeah. Franco de Pria on the ground. So they they constructed the mall, took the ball in. We're in last position when the mall was formed. Therefore, the ball doesn't come out and South Africa get it back. A little bit of luck there. Carl Brown there, cooking. Crouch. His fourth season, player of the year for South Africa. Touch. Two seasons ago. Set. Franco de Pria made his name in the Junior World Cup a couple of years Offer. back. Alongside with the Cecil Africa, great partnership they've produced. See if they can execute this little set play a bit better. The players now all readjusting themselves. So what's Chris Dry going to do here? Branco de Pria, little switch to Kyle Brown. There's a big gap there. There's a little switch. It's a little dummy, and Kyle Brown runs the whole way. Beautifully done. But rather naive were France in defence. Well, that's a much better set piece. All constructed, all part of the plan to shift France in defence. You've only got six men in that front line. So Seabrinker throws the big pass, just pulls the defence forward, and then the late switch here. And um, he's just going to have too much pace, Kyle Brown. Quite right, that's come off the practice ground, hasn't it? Yes, oh yeah. Well constructed, well, well thought out play, and um, you just move a player slightly offline like that from the middle of the field, who just opens a hole for someone to run into, and you've got pace like Brown and strength you can go through it. Deceptively quick, his 57th try for a hooker. That's a pretty damn large total, and the conversion is good from Branco de Pria. Well, I don't think France have got out of their end 22 yet. We're in the last minute of the first half. I tell South Africa a little bit within themselves, perhaps this morning they were they yeah. were electric yesterday. Absolutely, they, everything they touched was just at absolute breakneck pace. This morning, perhaps they're just pacing themselves. Not yeah. a bad, not a bad ploy on the first game. The second day, good restart that gave a chance for Brand. Carl Brown to win it, but it's held, knocked on though by France. They can't take it. Yes, yeah, so they look cool, don't they? Just. Uh, just laid back a bit. You're right. Mm. They, 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 were, they went full out, didn't they, in the in the 
those games yesterday. Yes. Just dominated for the first half of each game. And Crouch. weren't really competing. Touch. Set. In the second half, because they were totally on top. Franco de Pierre offside, two, three men no, no, no. from France. Carl Brown, the skipper, into the hands of Stephen Hunt. Takes two men out in contact. More. Little chip and chase, not such a clever clever kick. Taken by Dalinu, kicks for the, uh, takes the, no, in fact, it's um, Steve the Barry called the, took the kick in the 22. Advantage over. Candelon, Burahua, Abladejo, draws up uh, Carl Brown, tries to create the extra player on the outside. Mazoué setting it up. Burahua looks at the short side, opens to Abladejo again. Steve Barry. Oh, well done. Last play of this first half. This is Chris Dry. Now then, Mbavani. Franco de Priya. Bit isolated there. Turnover. Chance now for Dalinia. They've got to get something really with this last play. Now it's with Buahua. Cuts inside. Inside uh, Hendricks. And little Terry Buaha, one of the smallest players in the, so in the whole tournament keeps France alive just on the stroke of half time mm. crucial try Paul True won't be happy with that after half time they were 14 nil had opportunities to end the half decided to play on and go for the the killer blow to put them out with three tries and France capitalized well, counter attack vital to see him back he's such a live wire he is Terry Burakua is recalled having sort of been dropped last season halfway through after the Las Vegas tournament. I think he is a bit of an inspiration to them. Oh, it just clustered, just deflected over. So, only a seven point difference now. Um, half time comes, 14 points to seven. South Africa, Nelson Fallon, Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Fine bounce for Kyle Brown there, Bavani. Delport coming on now. Destruction there, ball not released. This is Delport. Birthday yesterday, and Bavani with the switch. And here's the man who just, well, year on year has been terrific, Frankie Horn. <laughs> Carl Brown, very important, next try. Stephen Hunt goes for the corner, cuts inside to hell by Albaladejo, turned over well by Denio, but knocked on. Unlucky there. Mm, France defending well and competing hard at the ball every time there's an opportunity. So we see Cecil Africa. About to come on the field and off he, he is coming on. So the star of uh, the game, player of the year two years ago, Cecil Africa. Missed so much last week with all uh, last season with those injuries. Crouch. Touch. So, so often the catalyst. Delport on as well. Looks at the uh, short side, gives it to Advantage Hunt. Over. Now it's Cecil Africa. First run from him. Good tackle again. Bavani. Rather Hendricks. Advantage. Four to two. Outside. The switch to Chris Dry. Back again. Delport went forward. And there's a penalty. No advantage. Offside earlier. Africa, he sees the gap there, he can't fail to score. 
skips round and puts it behind the post. <laughs> Under plenty of attention, too. <laughs> <laughs> He was tempting fate, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. If you're going to hang on to the ball there, you deserve to be tackled late. But did well. Got the ball back instantly. He's really up the tempo. He's been on the field all of 30 seconds and had two runs and really tried to stretch the opposition. <laughs> bit Extraordinary bit. thing. It's the second day, and this is first try of the tournament. He sort of only played a couple of moments, really, yesterday. Yeah. I just wondered whether he did... He's well, the, the strapping tape on the leg. Yeah, exactly. And he, he's he's not 100% fit. And has just really come back from uh, long-term injuries on his leg. Before that, of course, he broke his jaw, and that was awful. All time they wait to try. Nice schoolman. Happy injuries. Well, vital score that one put South Africa 14 points ahead. Last quarter of the game to play. Mazaway, not lucky. Goes to Stephen Hunt. The switch. Cornell Hendricks. Terrific. Well, very straightforward. Beautifully executed. And all to do with that restart. Ball so, bouncing into the hands of France, of uh, South Africa. So Should vital. have been in the France. So important and poor execution on the restart. Did really well here. Nice little, nice little switch. Left it late, which is what you need to do, Hendricks. Just let the space open up. Was patient. Let the space open up on the inside. Just a little clap. He's happy. Africa with a chance to. South Africa way out in front now, hits the upright. <laughs> well, Hendrick set them on their way yesterday with his hat trick in the opening game against Canada, and they just uh, blew, blew them away 38 0. And now they're in comfortable position for the semi finals 26 points to 7. On yesterday's performance, I'm sure they're probably still the hot favourites. You good to go, please? But you never know in sevens. 24-year-old set Africa, 21st tournament. No, no, we have an accidental offside. Bounce off your back into your player. <laughs> Courtesy. Crouch! So Vinny's Vincent Inigo takes over from Burahua. Offside. I know they're uh, destined for the plate. With just one and a half minutes to go. Pablo Dejo played every tournament last season. Offloads it into the hands of Zambelli. Well, you've got to stay on your feet. You can't lie there and with the ball obstructed. Advantage. This is one of the new new boys, 19-year-old Ruelin. Still playing advantage. This spell. Hunt. Advantage over. Good flo floated pass there to the other new guy, Ruben Johannes. Back to Johannes now. Danio trying to turn it over. It did well there, the, the captain. Advantage over. Looking for a consolation try here into the hands of Dilmas. Hasn't had a run in this game at all. Their quickest man. Just look a little bit clueless with the ball at the moment. Yeah, France not going forward. No, a bit ped pedestrian, aren't they? Yeah. Just passing it laterally. No one really taking it forward. South Africa. Yeah. Have been making their tackles. Here's a chance on the edge. Can they move it? Drifting across all the time. The South Africans just containing them. Drift defence. Well, here's a chance for Delmas if the kind. Yeah, oh. it is a kind bounce. Yeah.
guy who played international rugby as a in the French amateur 15 came back and has well, he's done well in the sevens game that's his 58th try scored so it didn't look so bad but it was really South Africa in control from the start and the full time score South Africa 26 France 14 so they go into the plate semi-final South Africa will go into 